very good morning children welcome back once again to our record classes this is ma'am anna your english teacher hope you all enjoyed your holidays yes and never bothered to touch your books isn't it yes everyone when it comes to holidays we only enjoy and enjoy so let's get back to studies then are you all ready for today's session let's get started what is this arise awake and stop not until the goal is reached any idea why i'm telling this to you and who has written this swami vivekananda let's see what is this all about all right so let's see what i will be covering in today's session in today's session we will learn a new lesson which is swami vivekananda we will also look into some vocabulary then of course it's question time we will summarize all what we have learned and then your assignments all right children so let's get started for today's class i request you all to listen very carefully to what is being taught in today's class before we start with today's session i want to ask you all a question what do you want to become or achieve in your life yes what you can do is you can message me what you want to become or what you want to achieve in life if you ask me what i wanted to become when i was young you will laugh children because that was a very early age for me to decide so as you all now i'm asking you all what you all to what you all want to become each one will say i want to become a doctor engineer teacher uh, what not etc etc but this is not the right age to decide i also was like you all when they asked me what you want to become in life i had so many ambitions i wanted to achieve so many things in life uh, whenever i see a doctor i wanted to become a doctor whenever i see someone kind or whenever i see someone uh, helping others uh, i would want to become a nurse i wanted to become a nun then when i saw my uncle uh, who's in the army i wanted to join the army and so on but when i graduated that was when i decided what i wanted to become and that's why today my passion was teaching and i'm here with you all taking english so each one of you all will have an ambition or want to become something in life isn't it in the same way let's see what swami vivekananda wanted to become so let's start off with the new lesson swami vivekananda i want you all to turn to page 1 in the literature reader and please listen carefully when i'm reading swami vivekananda india is a land of many religion and culture people here take both pleasure and pain alike they are dedicated and duty bound in this land many well known religious leaders have been born one such leader has been swami vivekananda one day a small boy jumped out of the coach in which he was traveling and ran to his mother with a smiling face he pointed at the coachman and told his mother i want to be a coachman how nice it is to drive a coach the mother could not say anything at that time later she showed him the picture of gita padesha and patted him saying dear narain if you want you can be now turn to page 2 children a coachman but you should be a coachman like krishna who taught arjuna though the boy did not understand it clearly he became later what his mother wanted him to be 
the little boy Narain later came to be known as Swami Vivekananda, a great spiritual leader and India's pride. Now tell me, what did you all understand children? Anyone? Okay, what you all can do is, take a pencil, start writing, what did you understand and send it to me. Alright, now in this lesson, Swami Vivekananda, we read India is a land of different religion and culture. That is correct, isn't it? Look at the slide, the first one. What do you see? You see all the different cultures that we have. Yes? Yes, children. Yes, of course. In India, we have, we celebrate all the festival. We have all the religion. And we have uh, that unity among us. So that's why India is known for its unity in diversity. Okay? And most of the leaders, all the big leaders, the freedom fighters were born in India. So one such leader is Swami Vivekananda. Alright? So what happened? Swami Vivekananda was traveling with his mother and he wanted, uh, while he was traveling, he jumped out of the coach. I've put up a picture as well, children, of the coach. This is how a coach looks. A coach is nothing but a compartment in a train. So he just got on from the train and said uh, to his mother that he wanted to become a coachman. Now, who is the coachman? The engine driver, the driver, okay? So then uh, his mother said, yes, of course, you must become a coachman like Krishna who taught Arjuna. So if you go back to Mahabharat, you will know how Krishna was the backbone for Arjuna's victory. Okay. So then, see, I put up a picture of Gita Padesha as well. So then his mother told. So, unless like us, even Swami Vivekananda had different liking. Okay. So then, but finally, he became what his mother told. Now, let's continue. Narendra was born on 12th January 1863 to Vishwanatha Datha and Bhuvaneshwari Devi in Kolkata, which is known as Kolkata. They considered the child the boon of God Vishweshwara Shiva and named him Vishweshwara. Later, they gave him the name Narendranath Datha. At the age of six, Narendra was sent to a primary school and later to a private tutor. He studied Sanskrit grammar, long passages from Ramayana and the Mahabharata. He had a strong desire to study more and he wanted to see God. He met many people but he was not able to get a satisfactory answer. So what happened? Narendra was born on 12th January okay, in 1863 to Vishwanatha Datta and Bhuvaneshwari Devi. So who were uh, Narendra's parents? Vishwanatha Datta and Bhuvaneshwari Devi and he was born in Kolkata. Now what we call Kolkata, okay, earlier it was known as Kolkata. Now they considered him to be the boon of God. Boon of God means now sometimes for a very long time if someone doesn't have a child and they pray to God, right? And they are blessed. So that is the blessings of God is called after years of longing when you pray and when you get a child, we call the child as a boon of God. Okay, so so they named him after God Shiva and and later they named him Narendra Datta. At the age of six, okay, Narendra was sent to a primary school, like each one of y'all, he also went to school, and later to a private tutor, okay, and he was sent uh, to a private tutor, he studied Sanskrit grammar, 
okay in olden days sometimes these big people what they do is they arrange private teachers to see that their children study at home instead of going to school and studying they call the teacher home and study so narendra also was sent to a private tutor to learn sanskrit like how we all go for tuitions okay so that's how narendra also was sent to a private tutor to learn sanskrit now sanskrit is a language like how we have hindi this is similar to hindi but it's sanskrit language okay so he he went to learn sanskrit and he had a strong desire to study more and he wanted to see god and um, in sanskrit he always used to read long passage long passage means long para he used to understand them and all what he wanted to do is he wanted to see god and narendra met so many of them whenever he meet someone spiritual all right uh, someone who is very holy uh, only praying so he used to go to them and ask them have you seen god and whatever they answered him he was not satisfied so let's continue the desire to see god grew day by day finally one day he became successful when he could meet his guru from whom he got the answer to his desire he could not see god the guru who made this possible for narain was sri ramakrishna paramahamsa sri ramakrishna paramahamsa could help him experience god thus sri ramakrishna paramahamsa became narain's spiritual guru swami vivekananda did not stop with this he went on and on walked miles traveled all over the country to discover truth narain was kind to all he had sympathy for the poor he was courageous too these qualities helped him become a wandering monk traveling alone to all places to help the needy he often expressed his idea on education according to him education should develop a complete human being so we'll stop till here children for today and i want you all to underline in the reader all the new words that you find and find their meaning as well and write it in your rough book and send it to me so in the last para what happened uh, swami vivekananda wanted to see god and whomever he saw he was not happy whenever he asked someone did you see god he was not happy with the answer finally he met this person who is ram shri ramakrishna paramahamsa who was he was really satisfied with that particular guru's answer and it was shri ramakrishna paramahamsa who taught him how to feel god and then shri ramakrishna paramahamsa became his guru not only that he wanted to experience god and he used to meditate and he used to get answers whenever we meditate even we whenever we sit and meditate and ask god for an answer you definitely will get an answer children in the same way swami vivekananda meditated and all what he wanted to do is he wanted to explore the world so he went on and on traveling and traveling he was very helpful to the people he was courageous very strong and he had sympathy for all the poor people sympathy means courtesy kindness towards the poor people and he became a wandering monk a wandering monk means who never stayed in one place he kept on moving from place to place and what he said was what swami vivekananda said was education he said education should be the foundation according to swami vivekananda education should develop a complete human being only if you are educated right you will know how to behave how to talk to people how to respect people if you are not educated you will not know all this correct so he said education is only means 
for you to become a complete human being. Hope you all like the lesson, children. Yes? Now, let's, let's look into some vocabulary. Let's see what synonyms. Okay, synonyms mean similar words as you all know. Coach, carriage, spiritual, religious, passages, paragraph, desire, wish, successful, rewarding, sympathy, pity, courageous, brave. And now let's look at some antonyms which is opposites. Strong, weak, good, evil, despair, hope, life, death, love and hatred. Alright, I've taught you all the lesson. I've taught you all some synonyms and some antonyms. Now comes what? Question time. Are you all ready? Yes. Now tell me when and where was Swami Vivekananda born? Tell me when and where was Swami Vivekananda born? India is a land of dash and dash. Fill in the back. India is a land of dash and dash. When Swami Vivekananda was young, what did he want to become? When Swami Vivekananda was young, what did he want to become? Who is Swami Vivekananda's mother? Who is Swami Vivekananda's mother? Now, I'm waiting for your answers. And as usual, I have only few children who always types in or writes and sends me the answers. I want each one of you all to put in the effort. All right. Now let's quickly recap what we have learned, children. We learned a new lesson, which is Swami Vivekananda, page one and two. Correct. And we also did learn some synonyms which are similar words we learned some antonyms which are opposites correct and i also did explain the lesson for you all i read the lesson for you all so i wanted you all i want you all to read the lesson the way i did with intonation go through the lesson and i will start asking questions one by one as usually the way i do I will call you all up suddenly and ask and check if you all are reading the lesson or not. Okay. Now let's see what your homework is. Children, I want you all to read the lesson Swami Vivekananda and do the third and the fourth main in the reader itself. Once again, I'm repeating in your reader. Okay. Please see where is that is page number okay if you see page number eight yes the third and the fourth main once again i'm repeating children page number eight okay the third and the fourth main you will do it in the reader itself now for the third main what you do is you frame sentences in the rough book children and the fourth main do it in the reader don't just put a line okay number it one two three four five okay this is for your homework children hope you all have understood very clearly what you're supposed to do until we meet in the next class this is ma'am anna Rathshaker signing off take care children bye bye